Hi guys, there has been a rise in the refusal of dependent visa application by the UK Home Office. Some of the reason for this denial is something that is avoidable, but with the right information, you can be able to avoid some of the reasons stated for the um, rise in the refusal visa application for a dependent. This is not in connection with the ban on international students coming into the UK with their student dependent effective January 2024. This is purely on information basis. Most persons do not understand the dynamics of making a um, visa application. There has been some changes in recent time when making visa application for dependents. That is why you need to watch this video to the end and share with all your contacts. Hi guys, welcome and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are coming across this channel for the first time, in this channel, I give latest updates about UK and UK immigration, ways you can migrate to United Kingdom through the skilled workers migration route and ways you can study abroad. If this content looks exciting to you and you gain value for this video, don't forget to subscribe to this channel to join the amazing Evergreen family. You can give a thumb up so you can recommend this content wide to a wider audience and you can as well leave your thoughts on the comment box. And my returning subscriber, thank you for always and be there for me. So guys, let's dive straight into today's end video. Guys, there has been a sharp price in the refusal of dependent visa application. Some of the ground upon which these visa are denied are something that is avoidable if you have the right information. If you are making application as a dependent or you are making application for your dependent, you need to watch this video and pay attention to every details. If you are making application for your dependent, you need to make sure all the T's are crossed and all the I's are dotted. Otherwise, you will get a refusal email because the UK Home Office have been so thorough when dealing with dependent visa application because they've gotten so many information about people coming to the UK with the false pretense that they are dependent on a particular person and upon investigation, they find that they have no connection of any sort. So guys, you need to watch this video to the end and pay attention. Not just watching it and pay attention, you can also share so that other persons can as well benefit from this information. So if you are making application for a dependent, you need the first thing you need to do, you need to try as much as possible to prove your relationship with that person. So proving of relationship is one of the primary reasons you must prove. Before now, if you are making application for your spouse, what is required of you is for you to provide your marriage and documents. With your marriage document and a relevant change of name document, that will suffice for proof of relationship. But with current trend, that alone cannot suffice as proof of relationship. So what you need to do, you can attach any means of conversation you have documented, either chats, email, or a Facebook message, whatever means of communication you guys. If you have family photos before your wedding, during your wedding, after your wedding, family photo that you snap within yourself and your spouse, your children, your extended family and the likes. Put all of this together to prove your relationship with the person you claim to be your spouse or your um, partner. So you need to prove your marriage document needs to be there. Relevant change of name document needs to be there. Your chat or whatever email correspondence you guys have exchanged in the past, you need to upload it together with your application to prove your um, uh, relationship status with the person you claim to be your uh, husband or your wife or your partner. So one other thing you also need to prove is your financial commitment. As a partner, you must have had some financial uh, dealings within yourself in the past. One of the best ways to prove this is by providing invoice. If you have bills you guys are paying together that carries joint name, that is one way you can prove your financial commitment. If you have joint accounts or you can print out your bank statement, before your marriage or after your marriage, during your marriage, when you guys have sent money to each other one time or the other, that can also be used as a financial commitment between the two partners. My advice to those who are planning to come to the UK is for you to have a joint account, right, that carries both names. If you guys have had any holiday um, dealings in the past, you can bring some documents or any financial dealings that relates to the holiday package you guys put together. That can also be used to prove your financial connection with the uh, person you are claiming to be your spouse or your partner. Then for the children, you need to also prove, apart from just providing a birth certificate for the child you are 
traveling with, right? Or you claim to be your dependent, you need to bring some other documents. You can bring family photos of the child you are traveling with. You can as well get the immunization card of the child. The hospital was born, the various immunization um, dates and all that that he has uh, taken from a uh, various hospital. You need to get the immunization card. Then from the school, you can get some record reports and details from the school the child is attending. All of this can also be used to back up um, the proof of a connection between you and the child you are traveling with as your dependent. Providing birth certificate alone is not enough. And also, you need to get a consent letter that both parents must sign together with all of these documents I just made mention of. A few years back, if you are applying for visa for your uh, children, the document you need to accompany their visa application is just the birth certificate and a consent uh, letter. But now, that alone cannot suffice. You need to add the child um, school record to also back it up. So with all of this, you can be able to prove the connection you have with the child before you can be able to make a successful visa application if you are applying for your child. So if you are applying for your partner or your spouse, you are applying for your child, you need to prove beyond maximum doubt that you have direct connection with them before you can be able to get a positive decision for your visa application. So many persons are lamenting because they actually provided the right information that is contained on the UKVI uh, website for you to be able to apply for dependent visa. They have all the documents, but what they are saying is for you to prove beyond maximum doubt. The uh, document that is outlined that is stated on the website, they are all correct, but they find that some persons can easily get all of these documents without having any direct connection with these persons they claim to be their spouse, partner, or their child, because it has gone to their knowledge that people are coming to the UK with uh, are dependent that they have no direct connection with. So this is part of the reason why they are going the extra mile to see how they can reduce the number of persons coming to the UK with dependent unless you are able to prove. Another reason for refusal of dependent visa, which most persons do not pay close attention to, is when you are applying for your dependent to come and join you here in the UK. For instance, you are already here in the UK as a single mother. You are applying for your child to come and join you here without the father coming to join you here, either in the immediate or in the future. So if you are making visa application for your child to come and join you as a single mother, the document you will use in making the visa application for your child is different from the document you will use to make visa application for your children if both parents are already here in the UK. If you are applying for your child to come and join you here in the UK, as a single parent without the other partner coming to join you, you need to obtain a letter of sole custody showing that the child can travel to come and join you here in the UK and live with you here without other parents or the other partner being here in the UK. So letter of sole custody is very important. So as a single parent, if you are applying for your dependent to come and join you here in the UK without your partner, joining you here, you need to get a letter or so custody before you can be able to make your dependent visa application together with other primary requirements I've earlier mentioned. Put all of these documents together to prove your relationship with the child and the rights you have to take care of the child or to travel with the child without the other partner joining you here in the UK. So these are some of the ways you can be able to prove your uh, relationship with your dependent before you can be able to get a positive decision for your visa application. So many persons do not put all of this factor into cognizance before making their visa application. And at the end of the day, they get a refusal. And you know when you get a visa refusal, the amount you paid for the visa fee has all gone. So you need to reapply again with the right document and you pay a new visa fee. So information is key in all of this. That's why I do say we all learn, right? But with the right information, you will not learn the hard way. So many persons have learned in the hard way. Your time, the time you spend doing all of um, the process, the finance you put together to make uh, the visa application and the like, they've all gone, right? Those are things you cannot recover because it has been stated that once you get a, a refusal email, you cannot get a refund of your visa fee. So guys, I thought I should bring this vital information to my audience and those who will be 
making visa application for the dependent in the coming um, weeks and in the coming months, please pay attention to details. That is why you need to share this video wide with all your friends and all your social media contacts so those who are intending to make visa application for their dependent can get the right information and they will not learn the hard way. So guys, we've come to the end of this video. If you gain value for this video, don't forget to subscribe to this channel to join the amazing evergreen family. You can leave your thoughts on the comment box and you can as well leave a thumb up so YouTube can share to a wider audience. See you in my next video.